What's up guys? On 2AM Cars today, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. On luxury cars today, on some Mercedes, BMW, and Lexuses, you might see that their turn signals are LEDs. Now today, I'm going to show you how to make your car have the same effect. You're going to need LEDs that are 1156 type, as well as uh, resistors to make sure that you don't get hyper flashing. The first thing you'll need to do is to pop the trunk and remove any clips that are holding your trunk liner in place. In the SC, you'll see that on the far edges of the car, there are two 10 mil bolts, or sorry, nuts, that are holding the tail light in place, as well as on the passenger side, there's the release for the trunk. After you take off the 10 mils, the two 10 mils there, two 10 mils here and up here. After you remove these two and you disconnect this piece from the yellow, this thing will pull straight out like so. And then you'll be able to remove the whole tail light. After you remove the tail light from the bumper, the bulbs you're going to be replacing are these three, one, two, and three at the top for this particular car. They are all type 1156 and all you need to do to remove these bulbs from their housings is to righty tighty lefty loosey them. So you pull them out like this and then same thing with the bulb. Push down and then pull out and then you can replace them with your LEDs. Before you put the bulbs back into the housings make sure that they work and in this case they do. Although they do hyper flash. In order to fix that what we're going to have to do is install inline resistors so that way they slow down the flashing speed. So it's pretty in easy to install resistors. All you have to do is tap each wire with each resistor wire. And in order to do that, the kit that you buy comes with resistors and T-taps, so it makes it super simple. Generally, what you want to do to install resistors is make sure that you don't mount them to any plastic surface because they do tend to get hot. But I'm not too worried about that just because they're turn signals, so they're not on all the time. All right, so this is how you T-tap. You have this little connector. Here on one end, you have the left side that's blocked off and the right side that goes all the way through. And the other end, you have both sides that go through. So you're going to take your resistor wire, you're going to take one end, and then feed it through the open side that blocks off on one end. And then you're going to take the wire that you're trying to tap into and then push it through the slit until it reaches the hole closest to the slit. And then once both of those wires are connected or inside the T-tap, you take this little um, metal piece and with some pliers, you crimp them down. So that way it becomes one solid connection and it will look just like that. So it goes through, that piece is all the way pushed in and then on one end, it looks like that. So that's how you T-tap, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. After tapping all the wires with the T-taps, with the resistors, you can see that it blinks at the appropriate speed now. So all that needs to be done now is to put the bulbs back in the housings and then take the whole headlight, sorry, the whole tail light, and then put it back onto the bumper. And that's it. Once you put the passenger side tail light back, it's onto the driver's side. So once again, all you have to do is remove the two 10 millimeter nuts right here and the two 10 millimeter nuts right up here and up here. Once again, it's just a matter of replacing the bulbs up here, installing the resistors, and then putting everything back together. Once everything is back together, you'll enjoy your new updated tail lights. Here's what it looks like at nighttime. And here's the difference between the incandescent versus LEDs at nighttime. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please thumbs up the video. If you guys want to see more, please subscribe. Until next time, thanks. So whoever worked on my car before this, I don't think they ever bled the brakes because bl uh, brake fluid's supposed to be clear, ish. But this is this. It's not supposed to look like this. It's like dark green and, and disgusting. So. It's supposed to look more like green tea.